to add more to this multi experience delivered to the user. Another thing that we will include in our web and mobile applications are conversational agents known as chatbots that will be yet another touch point to have a connection with the end user. It's important to mention that chatbots in this case will uh, overcome this barrier and will add more to this multi experience because they can be present through, for example, phone uh, connections such as WhatsApp or even as a Facebook Messenger instance. This will allow our application to reach more places in a way. From our mobile application, the bank's clients will have access to the chatbot. They can click on the dialogue and they will be able to interact with it. Now we will understand how we build these chatbots from Genexus in our project. From the Genexus ID, we will create an object that is called Conversation Flow. Here we created one. And this will allow us to define those flows that we expect the conversation with the client to have and which are these keywords that clients will tell the chatbot so that the chatbot can in turn give some information. So in this case on the screen, you can see that we have three different defined flows for this conversational assistant. You have the welcome uh, flow. We will also set up which is the message that will trigger that flow. So for example, if a client writes anything like hi, hello, or greetings, the chatbot will respond with a predefined message of welcome to the e-banking assistant. We have two additional flows, such as, for example, loans or investments. And in these, we defined for each of them the messages that will trigger these flows, as well as the responses that these flows will give to the client when they have the conversation going. This is a very simple example, and we are creating a chatbot that will only give information to the user, but you could also create conversational agents with a greater level of complexity that will exchange information, information with the user. And once a certain flow is triggered, you can initiate a new type of conversation where the assistant, for instance, will require some information from the client. And this will expand the possibilities of development and interaction that you have with the users in your systems through an experience that is absolutely new. Additionally, we will also see that we have some properties that we can set up when we create this object in terms of conversational flows. This allows us to configure properties so that the conversational flow automatically generates the interfaces where the chat window will be created, such as the one that you can see in the mobile application, both for web and mobile as well. You can also define if that conversational assistant should use a, for example, an AI service to uh, that, that involves uh, natural language processing. So you can, in a way, train that virtual assistant for it to be smarter and for it to recognize different types of input. And in a way, it can interpret the intentions of the user whenever it gets a message. For this, Genexus allows the integration with Watson and Dialog Flow services in terms of natural language processing. We will see that uh, we can also allow our chatbot to be accessible through a WhatsApp number by activating the WhatsApp channel. Or you can also allow the chatbot to have a Telegram account through which users can communicate. So we see that we have a number of possibilities to generate touch points with the users of our system. And this is thanks to the chatbot's technology in Genexus.